Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today we are going to UV map something a little bit more complicated, uh, a hand. So this is going to be organic, so it's definitely a little bit more complicated than tables and chairs, but um, or crates. We are only going to be using Maya tools. There are lots of proprietary software out there that actually already exist that might make the UV processing a little bit easier, but we are just going to go ahead and use what Maya provides. The first things first is that you really want to make sure that you work on a low poly. The higher the poly, the more complicated it is. So hopefully you have a low poly version of your object. So here's the hand and you basically want to look at it for shape. So for example, the arm looks like a cylinder. You can either cylindrically map the fingers or you can do a planar map for the whole hand. And that's basically what I'm going to do. So let's take a look at our hand right now at our UV texture editor. This is what it looks like. I, it's not even possible to texture this. So let's go ahead and assign a new material. I'm going to use a Lambert and I'm going to go ahead and plug in some form of grid so that I can see my progress. Okay, there it is. And yes, you can see that even if I try to texture it, it will look extremely messy. I'm gonna go back and press the number five in the keyboard so that I can see the sh default shader. And I'm gonna start off with the arm. I'm gonna go ahead and select the faces and just select the arm. Make sure that you are deselecting any faces that you might not want and select the ones you do want. And that looks pretty good to me so far. So let's go ahead and go to create UVs cylindrical mapping. Now the trick about cylindrical mapping is that it is look like a cylinder, but notice that the cylinder the cylinder is going the wrong way. So my arm cylinder is going this way, but the UV map's going up and down. So I'm going to grab these two red handle here and bring it together, and then I'm going to click on that little red T that's going to be for transforming, and I'm going to rotate it. Click on the blue one and then rotate. Now you may be wondering what's going on right now. Well, there's two ways you can look at it. You can look at it in texture mode. You can also look at your UV map. And the goal to this UV map is to try to make it look like as square as possible. Let's get this to the side so we can see the transformation. And it's just about trying to see if you can get it to look a little bit more like a square. There we go. That's starting to unwrap a little bit. And now it's now there's a couple of things here that I can try to you know, fix now or fix later. So it's just about following the flow of the shape. So I'm going to grab this and try to make it work a little bit better. Okay, it's tiny, a tiny bit better. Maybe this way. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'd have to fix it some more. So again, I'm just rotating it to see if I can get it to look a little bit more like a cube. So again, I'm just rotating and that's basically what I'm trying to achieve. Are my edges aligning? Are my seams going to be aligned? And that's basically what you're going to try to achieve as well. The second thing you want to try to do is make it look like squares. Right now it's not looking that like that. So I can either fix it here or fix it in the UV map. I'm going to opt to fix it in the UV texture editor. Go ahead and take a look at the hand. The hand is the rest of the UVs. I can right click on the UV texture editor, go to face, select it, and it's up to me what I want to do. I'm going to use a planar map. So I'm at the top over here, so it might be easier if I just go to the top view. So go to create UVs, planar mapping options. I can use whichever you like. I'm going to just use camera for fun and then project. Okay, that looks like a hand. Move it to the side. I'm going to go to object mode and so far so good. Well, other than the fact that the numbers are going backwards and we have overlapping textures and this is stretched out. But going back to the arm, right click, UVs, control right click to shell. And there's several ways I can try to make this look like a um, square so I could stretch it. I'm going to go and use a tool called Unfold and Relaxed right here. And it brings up this little icon. I can actually go ahead and click and drag Unfold and you can see that Maya is going to do its best to try to make it into a square. So I have control over this. Let 
right? To get out of that, just press R to scale, and then you can scale it. All right, it's not look. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now let's just rotate it a little bit. Can you see where the seam is? Right at the center of the arm. That's probably not a good place to put a seam. So we're gonna have to fix that in a second. But let's go focus on the hand next. So the hand is basically, I'm going to split it. So I just have to find, I'm gonna go into this, and I just need to find the, where I want this hand to basically be split. So I'm gonna go to edge, and I probably wanna choose the bottom of the finger. I'm gonna double click, and just basically, follow the fingers. This might take a little time, but just be patient. The thing about UVs is that you kind of zone in, you know, just zone out, put on some nice music, nice relaxing music so you don't get angry when you UV map, and you just kind of, you know, get into the zone and UV map away. It's actually kind of nice and relaxing and a little bit lethargic. So I personally enjoy UV mapping, I mean, don't get me wrong, at first I was going crazy, but now I'm just like, oh, this is kind of nice. I'm going to go to the side of the thumb. That means I'm going to go here, double click, and just find the way back to the other UVs. There you go. Follow this. Whoops, don't want to go that way, so I'm going to go along here. And then deselect anything that doesn't really match what I want. Might be better if I just have it like that. Okay, so now I just double check to make sure I didn't select accidentally any extra edges. But now that I have all my edges selected, I'm going to go back to my UV map and I am going to go here and cut. And now I just have to go to UV, select one UV, control right click to shell, and then I can move it. Ta da! Neat. All right, this one needs to be flipped. Bloop. And now you have to figure out where do you want the seam? Do you want the seam to be at the thumb or do you want it to be at the side of the hand? Um, to be honest, there's no right or wrong answer, so I'm going to attach the hand by the pinky and then leave the thumb exposed. So, first I might try to fix it up a little bit. So, move and relax. So, I'm going to go to unfold and just kind of unfold it a little bit. It's a good time to see how everything's looking down here. Not too shabby. Grab these guys. Control by click the shell. Unfold, just unfold it a little bit. There you go. And now I am going to attach the pinkies. So, edge. You All right, let's try this again. Select, 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 select. Okay. And then we can move and sew. Where to go? There you go. All right. So that means that this is now attached and the thumb is ex has a little bit of a seam, but I feel that it's better to have the seam at the thumb than at the side of the hand. But it's up to you if you want to do it the other side. All right, let's go ahead and unfold this a little bit. So we'll straighten out. There you go. Next, let's go ahead and sew the hand together to the wrist. Probably scale this down. And let's see which edge is gonna sew to what. So right click edge, I can click it, and you can see that this edge will go here, that edge will go here, and this edge is all the way over here. So that means that our seams are matching up. So we need to go ahead and change that. So that I can actually go and align it, for, for example, I know that this edge is going to go here, so I can right click UV to shell, and then just kind of move it like so. So I know these are gonna attach. I'll fix that in a second. And if I grab an edge, I know that that one's gonna go here, 
and this one is over here so this is the edge that I need to cut so I'm gonna double click I'm gonna cut right click UV to shell I'm gonna move it loop I know it doesn't fit that's okay grab the edge moving so all right so if you are concerned or you want to give it a shot you can always try relaxing unfolding it again and might scale it down whoops just a little bit so that it matches a little bit better okay so let's take a look at what happens let's go ahead and grab edge select all of these close down there and then move and sew okay let's take a look at our arm it's looking pretty good much better than what it was before definitely okay so now it's time to move into the zero to one space you can either do it yourself, so UV, control right click to shell, and just place it in there yourself, or you can always go to Polygon's layout and it will plug it in for you. I always kind of double check to make sure everything fits well. I can also rotate it just a little bit, maybe scale it down a little bit, and now it's ready to be textured. This was a quick tutorial on how to quickly UV map a hand using the tools that Maya provides. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Always leave a comment. What do you think of my tutorials? Are they helpful? Let me know. I love to hear from you. Okay guys, I will see you next time.